How's it going, guys? Stas here. So I want to break down this company today called Kings Entertainment. You guys can see it right here. The ticker symbol is K-E-N-G-F, and I want to go over why I'm keeping it on my watch list. Uh, we're going to break down a bunch about the company, growth prospects, all that good stuff. So if you all find value, smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I appreciate you all for tuning in, as always. And with that being said, folks, cheers. You got that right. I got some water today. We have a lot to talk about in this video, and let's just dive right into it. So again, the company we're going to talk about today is called Kings Entertainment, and their ticker is K-E-N-G-F. And this is a smaller company, so keep that in mind. With smaller companies comes greater risk. But of course, greater opportunity with that greater risk. Of course, nothing's guaranteed, and I'm not telling you guys what to do as always, but in general, kind of a, a rule of thumb when it comes to investing riskier stocks, not always, but if you're taking a bigger gamble on a stock, a bigger risk, there could be more upside, right? But if you're taking less risk, kind of a safer bet, there might not be as much upside. So keep that in mind. And again, I'm not telling you guys what to do. Of course, this is not financial advice, but we're going to talk about King's Entertainment in this video, break down the company a bit, why I'm watching it. So King's Entertainment, you guys can see, provides online lottery and casino style gaming services. And they also offer lottery subscription and browser-based casino games. And the company offers its services under the Lotto Kings, Trillionaire, and Win Trillions brand names which you guys might have heard of them and King's Entertainment Group is headquartered in none other than Vancouver, Canada. So that's kind of the industry that this company is in, of course. And if we look at the different opportunities here in these different markets, let me show you guys this. And by the way, I'll link this website down below in the comments, guys. Make sure you go check it out. But look at this market opportunity, global growth, the online gambling market size surpassed $55 billion US dollars in 2019. And and is anticipated to grow at a 16.5% compounded annual growth rate between 2020 and 2026. Big growth for, you know, this industry in general. And of course, right now when I'm making this video, guys, and we've talked about this before on this channel, right? We are seeing football start NFL, which is really the biggest time period for gambling, right? Online sports gambling, all that good stuff. So this is massive. You guys can see here the big, you know, growth in the USA and in Europe, the UK dominated the online gambling market with a share of 30% back in 2019 and in Latin America combined gaming revenue of Mexico Brazil alone exceeded the predicted gaming revenue for all of Latin America in 2019 and you guys can see the different markets here more you know more in depth the opportunity for Latin America expansion of territories to US and Europe you guys can see the KPI overview right here which again I'll link this down below if you guys are interested but this is showing you the average revenue per customer over the past uh, you know, couple of years here. It's, go it's going up in the right direction. And lottery customers also playing casino has also been going up over the past couple of years, which is the chart here right above my head. And look at this, guys. We got news recently. Brait AI, which is a leading provider of AI big data analytics solutions and wholly owned. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of Kings Entertainment Group. They recently gained strategic membership in FinTech Mexico, which is a prominent association fostering collaboration and innovation in the rapidly growing financial technology sector, which is also known as the fintech sector, which is projected to reach $1.1 trillion by 2023 or 20. 32, excuse me, guys, I read that wrong, which is a compounded annual growth rate of around 20%. So big opportunity there uh, for King's Entertainment. And look at this, guys. Braid specialized expertise in leveraging online behavioral data for predictive analysis positions the company to contribute significantly to the fintech sector in general and in fintech Mexico in particular through the advancement of data-driven solutions within the realm of customer or consumer, rather, risk assessment, consumer or customer success, marketing and sales, all that good stuff, which is great news if you ask me. So that's another good thing about this company, guys. Fintech Mexico's mission is to foster innovation, inclusivity, and growth in the Mexican fintech ecosystem, which you guys have to realize, uh, you know, Mexico, it's, it's far behind, not far behind, but in a sense, it's lagging the U.S. You, the U.S. and other, you know, countries that are, you know, at the uh, head of the global advancement when it comes to tech, a lot of these places 
Um, let's say Greece, for, you know, from where I am, for example, <clears throat> just an example, right? Mexico, other places, um, they're not as caught up. They're a little bit behind. Maybe not as much as they were, you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago. I don't know. Maybe things are catching up more these days. But this is a great opportunity over there, uh, you know, in Mexico with the FinTech Mexico. And the association is a renowned hub for FinTech companies and innovators providing a platform for collaboration, knowledge sharing, and strategic partnerships that drive the growth of the FinTech ecosystem i'll also link this down below guys so uh yeah that's pretty much it what do you guys think of this company let me know your thoughts in the comments and again i'm not telling you what to do not telling you to go load the boat or anything like that i'm just putting this company on your radar guys just letting you know about them and you could go and do further research on your own so with that being said if you guys found value smash that like button make sure to subscribe let me know your thoughts and full disclosure this video was made for marketing purposes keep that in mind and again I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not telling you guys what to do. And full disclosure, I own zero shares of this stock. Got to mention that. And with that being said, guys, cheers. I'll see you in the next video.